MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this matrix. So first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, uh, retaining your energy, essentially, and going within. Here at MGT, we do not fucking take breaks, bro. We vibe at a high vibrational rate, and at the end of the day, my nigga, we are all trying to get better. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to just give you a quick update on my streak, my new streak. I hit 28 days today, bro. 28 days in a row, my nigga. And like, it literally feels like yesterday that I, I guess I, I broke my longest streak ever. I'm on 28 days in a row, my nigga. And it's like I blinked my eye in 28 days just like that. So um, not going to lie, bro. The second time around, like starting this new streak. Um, it, I think it's, it's a lot more easier to, uh, obviously maintain, but even to, to string together like a week in a row, um, was kind of, it was kind of clutch dog, because sometimes like when people do relapse, um, it's hard for them to start a new streak. You feel me? They'll probably relapse in the last seven days and then relapse again in the last eight days, relapse again and probably do two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, uh, it's kind of like if you like i said because i relapsed with a female or whatever and it wasn't even like i was trying to or whatever like like i said you guys could check out that video it's uh retention day 129 quick thoughts um and at the time i i had hit 3,000 subscribers now i'm at 4,000 subscribers it's fucking crazy bro within a month within 28 days bro so i gotta say shout out to all the um all the supporters uh, anybody that's part of MGT, you feel me, you know what I'm saying, or, or the Moody Gang. I, I say Moody Gang because Moody Gang is more like family. Moody Gang is like y'all living this shit every single day, you feel me? We practice what we pe preach. Moody Gang team is motherfuckers who, you know, want to come down, who, who want to come to the channel and just like learn something and then want to give it a shot, you feel me? And Because I, I know somebody asked me in the comment section, isn't gang and team the same thing? And it's really not, my nigga. But... Um, regardless of the fact, bro, I'm on day 28 of my, uh, of my new streak. Um, it was, it was a lot more easier to string together some dates, some, some weeks together in a row. I'd say this time around, I mean, I want to say I'm still kind of feeling the same things as I was feeling like when I first started, like my, my original streak, which was, like I said, 129 days. Um, this time, I mean, every, like I said, everything is still the same, bro. Except this time, this time around, I haven't really been working out as much as I did the first time, the first time around, as far as my uh, street goes. So it's it, it, it's just going to be nothing but elevation, bro. I still have to be patient because it's just, it's like you get to, it's like you're so close to your fucking goal, my nigga. And it's like, you want to get to it, but it's just a few more steps sometimes, you feel me, in life that you just have to uh, bear with. And then just be patient, my nigga, because, like, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Retaining your energy is a superpower. I don't give a fuck what nobody says, my nigga. There, there's, there's like, a good side to retention, and there's a bad side to retention. And a lot of the times, when guys get fed up, they use that they, they use that bad side of, of, of retention. You get what I'm saying? So, like, what, am I, what do I mean by that? Bro, you can literally, like, you know you have the glow. You know you have the life force energy. You know you have all this confidence, bro. You know if you was to go to uh, uh, an event or go somewhere where, you know what I'm saying, people are making money or trying to make money or advance their businesses, bro, you know how how much of a role your retention journey will play in that experience, my nigga. Like, bro, it's literally like a superpower. And then everybody will get drawn to you because you become magnetic. You know what I'm saying? And this this is why it's very important that we have to discipline ourselves because sometimes niggas will retain their, retain their energy, get their life force energy just for like a month or two, and then fucking, they take off, but they never fucking come back. You know what I'm saying? They ended up, it's like they level up in life and then they still spiral down, but it's like, yeah, nigga, I got this house, I got this, I got that, whatever, you feel me? So I think it's very important that... um. We just be aware of how, like, how we use the fucking power. It's a lot of, I'm telling you, bro, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of females that do feel your energy every day. 
If you happen to be working around females, they feel you every day. They notice you every day. Every single day. If you've been taking care of yourself, going within, being high vibrational, they notice you, you know? And I don't know what y'all going through as far as like what y'all want to do with as far as the female attraction and things of that nature. But like I said here on this channel, bro, with the Moody Gang, y'all probably living, y'all living like how I'm living in the sense of like, Y'all know y'all can get all this extra shit, but but you 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 have to discipline yourself and be more than ready for when that shit does come. You feel me? Moody Gang team, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to motherfuckers who just come through, you know what I'm saying? Just just want to uh, give their opinion or whatever, because sometimes people don't even watch my videos just to uh, agree with me. They actually come here and find something to disagree with, which is cool. It's healthy. I appreciate that. So with that being said, bro, like I said, bro, I'm on my new streak, 28 days in a row, bro. I did it. It was it was kind of easy, bro. Like literally in a blink of a blink of a, blink of an eye, I'm, I'm almost at 30 days. You know what I'm saying? And uh, today, I woke up this morning. I woke up mad early as shit, but I was like, man, fuck it. Today, I'm I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the energy. I'm not feeling the vibe. I woke up this morning. I felt like low key, just like, damn, bitch. I want a bitch, dog. I want a bitch to lay with me. I ain't even want. It's like I don't even want to have sex because I really don't want to have sex right now, bro. To be totally honest, like I, I am mentally over the mediocrity. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm mentally over like just living so goddamn primitive, my my nigga. Like I hate. I don't like having casual sex with women that aren't doing shit with their fucking life i don't like that shit at all you know like i'm so i'm more attracted to one who is better in themselves one who's constantly on point with themselves low-key i kind of want to deal with a female that's something that might be a little bit smarter than me you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna sit here and hold you bro because i i'm tired bro i'm tired of the mediocrity the mediocrity i said that right wrong mediocrity i'm tired of like how should I put it? Like, it's like I'm tired of playing the low vibrational games with these, with some of these low vibrational women. You feel me? Because you're gonna, you're gonna run across a whole lot of like, just so many, so many options, so many women, different kinds of women. I mean, you probably gonna have your ex come back. This, they're gonna fuck with you, and this is all is gonna happen while you are on retention. Um, you don't want to get into a place because I ain't gonna lie, I got to a place literally. This is how I feel this morning. Like I said, I was I was like, man, why do I feel like I'm missing a bitch, dog? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really been a minute since I, like, uh, outside, outside of the relapse or whatever, it's been a minute since I just, like, hung out with a female. And now nowadays, it's almost impossible to hang out with a female. Let's say, you know, perfect time, perfect situations, situation, my nigga. Like, bro, it's almost impossible to hang out with a female and her not want to have sex with you, bro. I promise you, bro. If you are on semen retention, your pheromones are gonna be motherfucking jumping out the motherfucking gym, and and she's she cannot ignore that shit. And it's gonna get to a point where it's like, damn, if she don't fuck, if she don't, it's like she probably don't even want to fuck with you just because you're not giving them no dick. As opposed to, you know, it, it, it's weird because if we if if guys had that same mentality with females, it's like, oh, you're not giving up no pussy, I ain't gonna fuck with you. You know, we'll. We'll look, we'll, we'll seem some type of way. Or right, people will will seem, will feel some type of way. You feel me? But as far as, um, as far as like when you retain your energy, my nigga, and you don't want to just give that shit up easily. Yeah, now nah, they're going to fucking come for you or, or at least try and then be like, okay, if you're not giving me no dick, I can't talk to you. I can't vibe with you. I can't do this and can't do that. And it's going to happen. And it fucks with their mind. And it and it's 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 really a game changer, and that's why I said, bro, it's like a superpower, my nigga. There's a dark side to it, though. You can get, you can get a lot of shit, bro. But I say, in the very in the meantime, it's all about patience, my nigga. All about patience, my nigga. Just remember, just remember your purpose. Just remember your goals. Just remember all of that shit, my nigga. And when it comes down to it, bro, when God blesses you with so many fucking options, with so with 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 a. Uh, with a nice place to stay at, with a nice ass car, or let's just say you got that shit and you got the you got a brand new job or whatever the case might may be, bro. I'm telling you, the the world is really not changing. You know what I'm saying? When you do go back out into the matrix, of course, things will not be the same in the sense 
uh, how people react to you because they're not used to that angelic energy being around them. So automatically they're going to be a drunk. They're, they're going to be drawn to you. They're going to feel like they know you. They're going to have a conversation with you. They're going to think like, man, you're a brother from another mother or like it will happen, bro. It will happen. I think if you stay ready, you'll never have to like try to get ready when shit comes. You'll always be on your feet, bro. You'll always be on your toes when it comes to just handling yourself. And I'm telling you, bro, that this, this, this retention shit is live as fuck, but it's not for the weak hearted. It's not for motherfuckers who is like, oh, easily swayed by porn and shit like that. If you still have a problem with that, my nigga, like I said, you have to go within and look at yourself and see how you can um, challenge yourself to be better. You feel me? In the sense of like, okay, let me not watch it like fucking first thing in the morning, my nigga. Like, you feel me? You have some people who still watch porn first thing in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Or you can have, you, you constantly put yourself in toxic situations. Like I see young girls Always, for some reason, they can't be by themselves, my nigga. I'm talking about any, like a chick that's anywhere from 18 to 31. They can't. It seems. It seems like they cannot be by themselves. They always have to be in some type of relationship. Always. But you, I feel like you have to learn how to master being by yourself. You have to learn this shit, bro. Because if you don't learn how to master being by yourself, my nigga, you will just be a pawn in somebody else's life. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, I didn't want to keep this video too long. I was stirring, doing all kinds of shit. I fucked up so much in this video today, but I don't give a fuck, man. Y'all got the message, and I had to get this out. This has been your boy, Moody Star. Make sure you like, share, comment down below. And yo, man, keep the streaks alive, bro. Like I said, I y'all see me fuck up, and boom, 20, 28 days later, I'm back on a new streak. You feel me? And it's like, it's like the benefits, it's there. The benefits is there. I think I'm at that stage where... I got to be a, a little bit more patient before I can, like, enjoy the benefits, the fruits of my labor, if you will. But other than that, it's been your boy, Moody Star. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. Peace.